Hey everyone, Daikin here, and once again, sorry for another extended break without a video since last character overview, but I did take the chance over the holidays to visit some family with little access to proper equipment for my video producing. And yes, that also means I wasn't able to play for about a week. So sad. But nevertheless, I am back and ready to talk more Astro Chronicles with you all. And as you all know, a new character has dropped. Today, we're going to take a look at her kit and see if she worth you pulling and investing into. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Zero is an SSR Thunder based tank. Her talent, Venus Guard, is very similar to how Athena's work, but for her main stat of strength. So at max talent, you will gain your character level times 6 in strength points. Her basic skill is Thunder Fane, which taunt the enemy while doing small thunder damage and a chance to increase her block success rate. Zero Ultimate is Rune Reform, which decreases her damage dealt and received. Upon releasing her ultimate, she gains access to a shield that absorbs damage for 6 seconds. Her first active skill is Particle Smash, which conjures a shield and stuns targets for 2 seconds. Her second active skill is Electronic Monitor. When she is attacked, while this is active, she gains a chance to deal 50% thunder damage back to the targets. This skill is active for 6 seconds. Overclock is her last active skill that allows for her successful blocks who have a chance to do large amounts of small area thunder damage. She also has access to a 1.5% HP regen every 4 seconds with a successful block through recovery block, and an increase in defense stats by 5% for each enemy that is close. Zero also has 30% more fire resistance while sacrificing 10% of her thunder and water resistance through machine armor. And her last passive, Light Cloak, give allies 10% more fire damage and resistance after 6 seconds of casting Electronic Monitor. So overall, how is Zero looking as a unit? To be honest, not that good. Her design choice is sort of a mixed bag for me. On one hand, I love that she doesn't fall into the context of her kit that doesn't complement each other fully. But on the other hand, she's a tank. And with that being said, I think there's a few important things that most people look for within their kits that make or break these units very easily. I think this is what my next video will be about. Her kit gimmick is successful blocks, but most of it is based off non-detailed chances. Chances to increase block, and two chances to do damage. Not only this, but she lacks CC outside of a 2 second stun, which is nice, but not enough to warrant her use. She also only has access to one taunt ability, with nothing to ensure keeping the enemy's hurdle together with like a pull inside of her kit. The talent is fine, as it's a huge boost in her base stats, at 354 extra strength, at max talent, and max level which is still capped at 59 for the time being, but maybe something a little more unique there would have made her more worthwhile. So overall, she's not really worth the pull, outside of collecting purposes, but if you're into that, I'm sure you already pulled. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. What do you think about her kit and design overall? Also, I would be interested to hear everyone's opinion on what makes a tank good to you, as that will be most likely my next topic of discussion in videos to come. Let me know what you all think of any of these topics down in the comments below. As always, if you like anything I have to say, drop me a like, I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to hear more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.